I was diagnosed by the Mayo Clinic in 1994, I believe, but I think I had it two years earlier, and I went into kind of a state of denial. I didn't know what was wrong with me, but I knew I didn't want it. I started shaking in my right arm. I started uh, using alcohol because that would quell the symptoms, but it was uh, a bad idea because it pretty much destroyed the rest of my life. I was trying to solder a wire to a ventilation fan on my houseboat. As I tried to apply the torch to the iron to the solder, I started shaking. And I said to myself, I've either been drinking too much or not enough. And uh, like I said, that was not that funny a joke, it turned out. But finally the shaking got so obvious and the symptoms were so bad that my friends uh, practically dragged me down to the clinic and had me consult with a neurologist. And after extensive testing, they decided I had Parkinson's disease. And we've been divorced now for 15 years. And I believe a lot of it has to do with Parkinsonism and his, um, and Mike's not being able to handle it. It's caused by uh, the death of an area of brain tissue called the substantia nigra, which is responsible for production of dopamine, which is a very important neurotransmitter that's uh, responsible for pleasure, sensations, and smoothness of movement. Parkinson's disease is considered idiopathic, which means there is no known cause. I feel like sometimes he's given up because he used to be so proactive on research about it and, you know, different treatments and stuff. And I, since then, I think now he's just stopped. I'll just take my pills and hopefully they stop me from shaking. I believe that when Mike started with the levodopa and carbidopa and all those um, medicines, um, I can't remember all their names off the top of my head, um, that they changed his personality. Uh, at some point, Cinemet no longer functions. There's not, no known reason for this as well, but for some reason he just quit experiencing benefits. And they try to develop other alternate therapies, although to my knowledge, none are as good as Cinemet. Uh, but keep looking, and God knowing how you'll help us. Well, I go back to that very first day when I went in and said, I want my husband to walk my daughter down the aisle. And um, my daughter is 19 right now, and in another 10 years when she might be ready to walk down some mile somewhere. Her father isn't going to be walking. He'll be in a wheelchair for sure by then if he's around at all. In spite of my many good things in my life, uh, it still, you tend to, you know, experience depression and, and some bad feelings. I still feel that Dad has a lot of life left in him and that he could discover it if he just took better care of himself and listened to people who wanted to help him. Hey, Kayla. Yeah? Maybe if you get some more of this on Christmas Eve or something. Okay. I feel kind of like laying down. Well, I think it's one of the biggest obstacles I've ever had to overcome in my entire life. <laughs> great, wonderful person and has a lot to offer to this world. I just wish he could still realize it. My name is Michael J. Aaron and I have uh, Parkinson's disease or uh, paralysis agitans. <laughs>